We've gone through so much adversity this year. All the work we put in in the summertime, all the work we put in the preseason. Talking about championship, talking about our time. And dealing with some of the setbacks we had. Even all this has been put into motion to do what we've done now. I, I knew that this group could make it early just because you know, R.J. Cole, for a young kid, for a 19 year old, has always been ahead of the curve. He's always been ahead of the curve. He's, he's just a different kid, you know. I, and you know, adding Chad and Xavier and Andre and Zion's for development and Jalen Jones' leadership and some of the other things we had to do, to do, I knew that this could be a year for us. Howard University, just like all HBCUs, depending on where you come from or once you get there, it's family. So I can see why the players on the team, the students, uh, they'll say family, because that's just the feeling that you get once you get to the campus. Howard is probably the ideal place. It's like the paradise. Black excellence is where you find um, everyone wants to do something to affect the, the black community. You know, this is a 40-year decision. You get a chance to be a part of something for the rest of your life. You, you get a chance to be remembered. The passion, the, 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 the compassion, uh, the friendship, uh, the generosity, it, it didn't matter where I went to school. My many, many years in, in, in predominantly white schools, it wasn't about, you know, and I really didn't realize until I got here, it wasn't as much about graduating the kids as, well, as much as winning. You know, what, what can we do to win? You know, what's, what's based on winning? For basketball, it's, it's, it's school. And, and Howard is a, is a academic institution, um, so you have to do well in, in school in, to be in order to play basketball. So on the roads, we have academic support people who help us, especially when we miss a week of class. They email our teachers, they keep us on track and make sure that we're not falling behind. When I got it, people told me it's a tough job. It's a tough job. You can't rebuild like some of, some of these other teams rebuild. And we have great students. RJ is a great student. Some of these Chad is a great student. Some of these guys are great students. So while uh, our history is a, a blessing, our, we were able to provide as a university a blessing, but obviously we have a disadvantage when it comes to the type of kids that we can bring in. So when this model works, it feels good. That we, we did it the right way, we did it our way, we did it by going out and getting freshmen, by you know, not, not bringing in JUCOs and transfers, we're bringing in, we're matriculating with this system, within the, the structure of Howard, the way we want it to be done. So it's a, it's a good feeling to be the youngest team in the MEAC, one of the youngest teams in the country, and to go out here and earn a buy. We did it the tough way on the road the last stretch of the season. You know, but you know, again, we still have a last act to this play, and that's, and that's going out on this weekend and winning the championship. This time of the year is not about coaches. This time of the year is about players. Everyone knows on Bethune-Cookman's team who's taking our shots. And we know who's taking their shots. We have to stop them, so they have to stop us. It just so happens when you're dealing with a deck of cards, we happen to have the Joker. I think we got the Joker in R.J. Cole. I'm a type of person that strives on competition. I don't want the person in front of me or the person behind me to outdo me in anything. I'm good with leading by example. It comes down to who wants the game more and who, and who doesn't want to go home. I feel like in the game, you go as far as as a top player. On the other side for Howard University and the Bison, what is their key? They are a great perimeter shooting team. They have the player of the year in RJ Cole, CJ Williams, and Chad Lott. Here as we get ready to tip this one off, it's Howard University coming in with a 16-15 record 10-6. Cousins, here come the Bison. 
And Cole puts it up and counts. Well, this young man, you're going to hear his name a lot. On the log, Ben Williams with an alley -oop. 36. On the board for the Bison of the Howard University, 25. For the Wildcats of Stone Coast. It was exciting going into this year knowing that I already had an unbelievable backcourt and C.J. Williams and, and R.J. Cole, and you're adding a kid like Chad Lott. I don't care what division you're in, I don't care what level you are. Uh, once the three-headed monster is what I call them, um, R.J., C.J., and then you have Chad, uh, if they're on a roll, well, you, you're in trouble. I've been on the other side of that. I've been on that floor crying and happy because you won a championship. I hope these guys get a chance to experience that because that's what they came here for. They came here to be remembered. They came here to do something different. And different for us and different for Howard in this culture is winning a championship, which hasn't been done in a long, long time. And Howard University with an 11 point advantage as we get ready to start the second half. Basically, it's been R.J. Cole, the player of the year, offensively for Howard University. And what a show he's put on. Williams, who get to the rim and will have a basket. Jumped inside the Torre eh? from the corner. There he is. Perfect. R.J. Cole. He's out of the back record right now, Charlie. will move on to play tomorrow's semifinal game at 6 p.m. against the number one seed, the Spartans of Norfolk State. There's so many things with injuries and things, so it's so, you know, nice to watch this thing happen for these guys. Everything this team does is about winning. Get ready for Norfolk. They're talking about winning the championship. That's what we're here for. We're here to win the championship. We're not here for anything else, other reasons other than winning the championship. We start, we have one more tomorrow, then we'll worry about that after. No for tomorrow, baby. No for tomorrow. No, stay high. Wish I was paying. Wanna be a spectator. Got that dude, though. You got that dude. You got juice. You got juice. You feel, you feel good about yourself. I expect for us to try to compete as hard as we can because we understand now it's killed to be two. I'm so glad you could be with us here tonight for a chance to see one of the best one-two punches in the country, the first punch being thrown by that guy, R.J. Cole. The one piece of advice that Coach Nick has given me is to stay the course, keep all your goals ahead of you, and continue to, to progress. My main goal um, is to win the MEAC. Um, getting us to the NCAA tournament, um, and, and just making history. Crossover. By Cole, tripped up, floater wow. goes through. Oh, Chad Lott's the other guy you keep your eye on for Howard, who has really become that third option for Coach Kevin Nickelberry. So we've had so much adversity, and they have an opportunity to do something special, you know. And, and trust me, trust me when I say this: all the guys who've been around, who've heard all the the, the voices. You know, who haven't been through the turmoil we've gone through with these injuries and how tough it is. All those guys who've played with me, played for me in the past, they're somewhere at home right now rooting for these guys. Because they, they're like, get this done for us. Get this done for us. Because, you know, again, uh, I'm not sure if anybody watches this team and doesn't say it was worth, it was worth the price we mentioned. I mean, you know, we're exciting to watch. You know, uh, the future is really bright for this weekend. Oh, the wraparound and RJ Cole. 
minutes to go. Howard at one point in time, especially in the first half, looked like they were going to run away with it. One point lead for the Spartans. 